Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Lloyd Reviews. Today we are going to be having some Taco Bell. Now, what did I get? Well, let's whip it out and see what is in here. Let's see what's on here. Oh, we got some napkins. Quite a few napkins. I always say about napkins because now half the time they don't give you about maybe two, three napkins. All right. So what I got for us today is the new crispy chicken sandwich and the new spicy crispy chicken sandwich from Taco Bell. I think they're all trying to, you know, compete with this whole chicken sandwich thing going on. But um, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's much of a competition. Okay, so before I open this up, let me tell you the price. Online, it's $1.99 each, okay, for this little guy. In restaurant, it's $2.49 each. So, that's a big difference right there. All right, so let's open up, I don't know which one's which. One's spicy and one's not. Let me just double check here. Okay. All right, this is the plain crispy chicken sandwich. And we open it up. And this here's what it looks like. Right there. Now, what is that? I hope it tastes better than it looks. This looks like institution food. Um, so, the, the crispy white meat chicken is marinated in jalapeno buttermilk, seasoned with bold Mexican spices, rolled in a crunchy Tortilla chip coating. Yeah, they totally skipped that. Um, topped with creamy chipotle sauce in a puffy flatbread shell. Oh, they got the flatbread shell. They got what looks to be chipotle sauce in there. But uh, I don't see... A crunchy tortilla chip. Do you? Um, yeah, let's try this out. I also have a, a Baja Blast at the side here. In case this is real choky. Alright. All right, so I found something out. I found that it's missing the tortilla chip because the tortilla chip is actually the breading on the chicken. So, that makes sense. All right, well, first off, the uh, flatbread is pretty good. can't tell about the chicken yet. I, I definitely taste the chipotle sauce. Alright, well, chicken's kind of dry.
And it has no crunch to it. It's not really crispy at all. It's soft. I don't know if it's because the sauce is soaking it up or what. Or it's soaking up the sauces. But it's not crispy at all. And the chicken's dry. The flatbread's good. The chipotle's okay. It's my second favorite chipotle. One problem I have is it's it's really small. Um, if this is supposed to compete with the uh, Popeyes chicken sandwich or the uh, the Burger King chicken sandwich or whatever, this mm, um, <laughs> it's a big fail right there. The Baja Blast is good. Can never go wrong with Baja Blast. Okay, so next is the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Um, looks like a bigger piece of chicken this time. And everything else is the same except for one thing. The spicy. And that is brought to you by three little jalapeno pepper slices. But hey, the piece of chicken is bigger. Okay. Here we go. There's a little bit of crunch right there. Did you hear that? Hmm. All right, those three little jalapeno uh, pepper slices, they actually do uh, provide enough spice to make it spicy. So I'll give them that. Um, I got a, a taste of it right away with the first bite. Now we're back to soft chicken. No crisp. I think that the, the uh, like I said, the tortilla chip breading kind of soaked up the the sauce a little bit. And I think that's why it it killed off the the crunch. Because at the edges here, there's a little bit of crunch, but not much. Um, chicken's still dry, huh? Tastes like that, that Thanksgiving turkey meat that you get. Makes you want to choke. Yeah. 
So, you know. All right, so with the regular plain crispy chicken sandwich, one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst, I'd give it about a 4.5. It was missing the crisp, chicken was dry, Small. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the cons. Pros, shortbread was good, and the chipotle sauce was good. So that's about it. Uh, the spicy one, same thing. Except I'll give it another pro. The jalapenos were spread out that every bite you got some spice. So, I'll give them that. So yeah, online, $1.99 each in restaurant, $2.49 each. Um, if you want to go out and try it, Go right ahead, see what you think about it, come back and let me know. Um, if you've already tried it, tell me in the comments what you thought about it. And um, like, share, comment, subscribe. And um, if you have anything that you want reviewed, please feel free to let me know. I'll see you next time on Lloyd Reviews.